of the day my dear fourth class students i'm navin hope you are doing good at home uh, students today we are going to discuss about seventh chapter of your grammar book which is adverbs uh, adverbs first of all students uh, we have already you know um, gone through adverbs in our previous classes and i'm sure that uh, you will definitely you know um, took some ideas and uh, definitely you have remember Uh, that how how does an adverb work right so let's discuss them one more time first as you can see here uh, the first step there are a uh, kind of pictures all right and um, these pictures what you need to do with them here are uh, pictures of people walking pick a word describe how the person is walking and write it in the box below so these are the words as you can see here and now we have to use these words uh, by describing you know we have to describe uh, these pictures by help um, by using you know uh, these words okay so i have done this already for you so the first picture as you can see here the boy is uh, walking i mean what is the form of i mean the way the boy is walking and the boy you can see as in the picture is not um you know he's not charged up and he's tired so tiredly the boy is walking tiredly the second one is briskly because they have kind of stamina or you can see the um, excitement over there in their faces and the next one is elderly lady and elderly lady and she is walking slowly okay the next one is um boy again and he is not completely woke up so uh, it means he's walking sleepily and the next one is angrily as you can see his expressions uh, through his face and the girl and she is walking sadly because her expressions are like that so aap dekh sakte hain ki these are the words jinhone yahan pe walk sare ke sare walk kar rahe hain yani ki action hai ek tarah ka right aur jo words yahan pe use ho rahe hain wo unki walk ko kya kar rahe hain describe kar rahe hain so the words sleeping um, sleepily slowly angrily tiredly briskly and sadly tell us how the different people are walking right and these words are adverbs so adverbs basically adverbs are words used to add more information about a verb or aap dusri tarah se samajh sakte hain adverb are the words that modifies uh, the verb right yani ki jo verb ko modify kar rahe hain theek hai वर्ब को डिस्क्रिप्शन दे हमें कि जो काम हो रहा है वो किस तरह से हो रहा है राइट स्टूडेंट्स सो लेट्स टर्न द पेज एंड टेक अ क्लोज लुक अगेन सो देर आर सम काइंड ऑफ एग्जांपल्स दैट यू नीड टू यू नो लर्न एंड दैट यू नीड टू कीप विद योर सेल्फ ऑल द टाइम वाइल डीलिंग विद एट वर्ब्स एंड वाइल मेकिंग सेंटेंसेज ऑल राइट सो एट वर्ब्स ऑफ टाइम शोज अस वेन एक्शन हैपन फॉर एग्जाम्पल नाउ वी आर डिस्कसिंग द you know the 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 type of adverbs kis kis tarah ki adverbs ho sakti hain so what we need to um you know what we need to remember here that the first type of adverb is adverb of time and it shows when the action is done right when we talk about adverbs of time so it it it, it is uh, clearly about the action when the action is done or when the action is happen right so we reach school early as you can see here the first example is that we reached school early and the second one i read a story book daily so early and daily in these both sentence you can see we reach school daily um, early it means early is referring a kind of time ki hum kab school pahunche hum jaldi school pahunche right so time ko refer kar raha hai isliye ye hamara adverb of time hua the second one i read a story book daily again daily it means again time when when uh, when do i read the story book and the time is jo yahan pe the uh, word yahan pe time ko refer kar raha hai which is daily okay students adverbs of manner adverbs of manner uh, basically it tells us how actions happen किस तरह से एक्शन हुए हैं किस तरह से जो वर्ब है जो काम है वो कैसे हुआ है किस किस वे में हुआ है राइट एंड द एग्जाम्पल दैट यू नीड टू टेक हियर टेक अ लुक हियर शी डांसेस ब्यूटिफुली शी डांसेस डांसेस इज द वर्ब एंड ब्यूटिफुली इज द एडवर्ब बिकॉज ब्यूटिफुली इज द वर्ड व्हिच इज 
modifying the verb and the verb is dances so how did she danced how did she dance like she dances beautifully wo kaise dance karti hai beautifully dance karti hai to manner adverbs of manner okay the class was listening attentively so how was the class listening attentively okay again the next one is adverbs of place uh, tells us where the action happened or place adverbs of place as a noun se pata lag raha hai कहाँ पे एक्शन हुआ है जगह है पर्टिकुलरली किसी जगह को रेफर करना एडवर्ब्स ऑफ प्लेस का काम है राइट एंड दे आर सिटिंग आउटसाइड वे दे आर सिटिंग आउटसाइड द बुक इज केप्ट देर वे इज द बुक देर राइट सो दीज आर द वर्ड्स जो एडवर्ब्स ऑफ प्लेस को रेफर कर रहे हैं नाउ द नेक्स्ट वन एडवर्ब्स ऑल्सो मॉडिफाइव एडजेक्टिव एंड अदर एडवर्ब्स लुक एट दीज एग्जाम्पल्स द फ्रूट वॉज टू शोर ओके ही वॉक वेरी स्लोली सो यहाँ पे स्लोली एंड शोर एक तरह के क्या हैं आई मीन एडजेक्टिव हैं जो वर्ब को मॉडिफाई कर रहे हैं वर्ब यहाँ पे बी फॉर्म है द फ्रूट वॉज कैसा था फ्रूट शोर था राइट ही वॉक्ड वेरी वो कैसा गया स्लोली गया सो इट मीन्स दीज आर दर्ड्स जो हमारी वर्ब को मॉडिफाई कर रहे हैं राइट स्टूडेंट्स So now we are um, on the second exercise, B exercise of your book, and I've already done this and I've already shared this exercise with you. So now you just you just need to take a close look here and try to understand what's being done here. Okay, there are some words and complete the sentence with suitable adverbs from the box. One has been one has been done for you. So uh, the words are given in the box. We need to use them. We need to choose appropriate word and then complete this one. Okay, as you can see, the first one, the second, and I've done this exercise for you. So the clothes are drying where outside. Okay, the boy finished the drawing. The boy finished the drawing. How did he finish? Neatly. It means manner. Outside place. Okay. Um, Paramita walked to her room sleepily. Walked. Walked is the verb, and sleepily is a manner. How did she go? Okay. Mm, the next one. Uncle will reach home. Uncle will reach home early in the morning. Okay. Uncle will reach home early in the morning. Okay. Uncle will reach home early in the morning. Okay. Uncle will reach home early in the morning. Okay. Uncle will reach home early in the morning. Okay. Uncle will reach home early in the morning. Okay. Uncle will reach home early in the morning. Okay. Uncle will reach home early in the morning. Okay. Uncle will reach home early in the morning. Okay. Uncle will reach home early in the morning. कहाँ उड़े अप इन द स्काई अप इज रेफरिंग एडवर्ब्स ऑफ प्लेस ओके स्टूडेंट सो नाउ वी आर ऑन द नेक्स्ट पार्ट व्हिच इज एडवर्ब्स ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी एडवर्ब्स ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी स्टूडेंट्स यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड हियर आई नेवर स्टडी अलोन आई ऑलवेज स्टडी विद समवन एडवर्ब्स ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी बेसिकली हम कब यूज करते हैं जब कोई काम किसी पर्टिकुलर टेंडेंसी यानी रिपिटेशन पे हो रहा है किस 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 टाइम पे हो रहा है फ्रीक्वेंसी कितनी बार हो रहा है या कितनी बार आप उस काम को करते हैं या कितनी बार वो काम किया जा रहा है राइट सो द फर्स्ट एग्जांपल यू सी हियर आई नेवर स्टडी अलोन आई नेवर नेवर इज द वर्ड जो फ्रीक्वेंसी को क्या कर रहा है रेफर कर रहा है और बता रहा है कि मैं कभी अकेले नहीं पढ़ता या पढ़ती राइट ओके आई ऑलवेज ऑलवेज देन द नेक्स्ट वर्ड ऑलवेज स्टडी विद सम आई ऑलवेज मैं हमेशा किसी न किसी के साथ पढ़ाई करती हूँ या करता हूँ राइट so these girls are saying those words and those sentences so never and always are the words jo adverbs of frequency ko present kar rahe hain yahan pe right okay the next one i study with my friends once a week once a week frequency kab kab padhta hu main once a week hafte mein ek bar okay i normally study by myself i hardly ever study alone i hardly ever ever it means again frequency okay and now students as you can see here the words never always and normally are the and um the uh, normally and the phrases once a week and hardly ever tells us how often an action keeps takes place jaise maine aapko bataya adverbs of frequency how often yani ki koi kaam kitni baar hua hai ya kitni baar hone ka um, refer kar raha hai usse hum adverb of frequency mein hi काउंट करते हैं ओके सो नाउ वी आर ऑन द सी एक्सरसाइज आई हैव आल्सो डन दिस सी एक्सरसाइज अंडरलाइन द एडवर्ब्स ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी इन दिस सेंटेंस वन हैज बीन डन फॉर यू सो व्हाट यू नीड टू डू अंडरलाइन द एडवर्ब्स ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी सो यू कैन सी हियर एंड नाउ यू कैन गेट सम आइडियाज लाइक आई एक्सरसाइज रेगुलरली ऑलवेज हार्डली 
three times every day and twice that's how it's going to work for you i hope students you're clear with adverbs i have already shared these exercise with you so what you need to do you need to you know you need to practice them again and again at home and make yourself clear with adverbs okay students so these exercise i have done for you and uh, now it's it's done the video i mean the chap the the explanation part is done and students um if you will feel any problem if you have any doubt regarding adverbs um, if you if you could not get the idea or the concept the adverb how does it work so you can ask me any time okay so thank you for watching this video and uh, don't forget to subscribe our channel and share and like the video okay students have a great